this morning. We have people. Are you happy to be alive and well this morning? I am super, super happy to be with us this morning. Hallelujah. Because we serve a God who is powerful. We serve a God who is worthy. Glory to God. Good morning, family. It's so glad to be with us again this morning. I trust God that he will renew our strength as we pray this morning. Hebrews 10, 23 says, Let us all tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Hallelujah. This morning we start with a dose of thanksgiving, thanking God for his great promises that are coming to pass this season. This season is a new season. Every time we wake up and we, we see the light of the day, God is opening a new chapter in our life. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in need. Glory to God. So let's go ahead this morning, just bless him for his great promises. If you have any specific promise from God, you have been declaring, this is the time to refresh. It is not time to to put those promises aside, it is time to refresh. Just begin to thank God. You're trusting God for your for your uh, uh, for your life, for your marriage, for your business. Can you just begin to declare God's word this morning? I say, Lord, thank you. Thank you because your word says that you establish everyone in families. Can you go ahead and thank him? The Bible says, he said, sing, O barren. He said, because you will have you will have your own children. Oh, can you just go ahead and, and just bless God for those fruit? Thank him for those precious promises. The Bible says there shall be none barren in the land. Glory to Jesus. Can you just go ahead this morning and just begin to thank him for those amazing promises. Oh, thank him. Thank him for giving you the capacity to succeed in career. The Bible says whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. It says if you're planted by the rivers, it said you will prosper in all that you do. Those are promises we can take to the bank. He said, I will bless your bread. I will bless your water. Can you thank him this morning for supplies? Thank him for grace. Thank him. Just go ahead and, and just begin to thank God. Begin to thank him. Begin to worship him this morning for your business. Remember, I've said, he said, build your business for, he said, after that, build your house. So that means that God has given us the grace to build our businesses. He has given us the capacity to build businesses. And that's why he's encouraging. He said, build your business first. And when you are done, then you can build your house. Glory to Jesus. Let's thank him this morning because he is making his reign to to fall upon us. Maybe God has give, shown you a vision and is telling you that he's moving you to another country and it's looking like things are not looking like it. Remember that he is going ahead of you. He said, I will make a way in the wilderness, rivers of water in the deserts. Can you just begin to thank him that, yes, even though it looks like everything around you is wilderness right now, God is making a way. Go ahead this morning and just say, Lord, thank you. Oh, Father, thank you because you are making a way. You are making a way. Hallelujah. He is making a way. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go ahead and thank him this morning because he can be trusted to keep his part of the bargain. Someone say this morning, Lord, I am grateful because you can be trusted to keep your part of the bargain. Say it as loud as you can this morning. Lord, I am grateful because you can be trusted to keep your part of the bargain. So this morning is both an encouragement and a declaration that God will keep his promises to us. Promise kept. He will never fail. He will never fail. And, and as we go on in the declarations, you will see how God's promises will be finding expressions in different areas and different aspects of our lives this morning. Oh, glory to God. This week is going to be amazing. I tell you, it's going to be an awesome week. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So we go Hebrews 11 verse 8, the New Living Translation says, 
It was by faith that Abraham obeyed God when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. One of the parameters for the fulfillment of God's promises is obedience. Obedience. Sometimes when God wants to move us, he will stretch us. It will make you to do things you've never done before, go places you've never been before, meet people you've never met before, do things you have never done before. Can we pray this morning, Lord, I receive grace to obey you. There are so many of us, God has shown us the template for the future, but we are too either complacent or we are just uh, comfortable with where we are that we are not moving. We are not moving in the direction of those problems. So I want us to pray this morning, Lord, I receive grace to be you. Grace to be you. In fact, add, Lord, I receive grace for prompt action. Prompt action. Prompt action. You know, this is one thing that even I need grace to do this season because there are so many great things God wants us to experience but we are somehow just, ah, oh, do I have the energy? Do I have the money? Do I have the strength? If God has given you the command, then he has made supplies available. But if there's one thing I have realized about God, until you move, you will not see those supplies. Until you move. When Samuel told Saul that he said, um, when, he said when you go, you will meet a company when you, when you, so everything Samuel said to Saul happened when Saul moved, not when Saul stayed with him. Saul had to move before those things could happen. So someone, I want you to pray this morning, Lord, I am empowered to leave my comfort zone and do what must be done for your promises to manifest. This day, oh God, this week, I decree I am empowered to, do, to leave my comfort zone. I am empowered with discipline. I am empowered with courage to do what must be done. Whatever needs to be done for my own part. Remember, we stated earlier that God is faithful to keep his part. God is faithful to keep his part. Lord, I receive grace. Lord, grace, grace to keep my part of the promise, grace to do what I need to do, grace to go where I need to go, grace to meet where I need to meet, grace to say what I need to say, Lord, to Day. In the name of Jesus, this week I am supernaturally empowered to do what needs to be done. In the name of Jesus, Lord, what needs to be done? For someone, God is saying, start that business, register that business, register that business. But you keep saying, um, uh, how will I start? Um, uh, uh, go and register it first. Open that back account. Oh, Maruzi Kata Mashanda Baraga Doskin. You know, sometimes we're praying for some things, but we don't even have the capacity to receive them. Yeah, I remember I was sharing with someone the other time. I said, if you are trusting God for big money, you can't be running uh, your business on a business name. Because if anybody wants to invest in your business, they will not invest in your business name. You can't, a business name doesn't have a um, capacity to, to retain shareholders. So, so how, how, how do you want to get investors? You are praying for investors, you have a business name. You know, so we need to be able to make room for the, for the blessings we are praying for. We need to be able to make room for the miracles we are praying for. That is what we are talking about here. Lord, I receive grace today, Lord, to do what needs to be done for your promises to manifest. I go all out this week with the full assurance that your word will be fulfilled in my life as I see success, success in my career, success in my business, success in my relationship endeavors. In the name of Jesus, someone begin to declare this morning. 
begin to declare this morning, Lord, I go all out this week with this full assurance, with this full assurance that you are more than able to do what you said you will do. Therefore, I put action. Oh, I put action. I put action in the equation. Lord, I put action. I do my part of the deal. I step out of my comfort zone. I go where I need to go. I do what I need to do. In the name of Jesus, someone receive that strength as you're praying. Begin to envision yourself doing some amazing things this week. Begin to envision some amazing things happening for you this week. Begin to declare, Lord, I receive whatever I conceive. I receive whatever I conceive. If God puts the idea in your heart, that means he has empowered you to, to receive it. He has empowered you to receive it. I decree to them, your expectations become your manifestation. In the name of Jesus, we receive capacity to think big. Receive capacity City to see bigger pictures in the name of Jesus. Receive capacity to see bigger pictures. Receive capacity. Receive insight. Receive insight in the name of Jesus. Receive insight in the name of Jesus. Receive insight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Receive it this morning. Receive it this morning. Oh, thank you, Jesus. No more holding back. No more holding back. <laughs> you can't hold back. You can't hold back. Glory to God. You can't hold back. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can't hold back. Hebrews 11.10. The Bible says, Abraham was confidently looking forward to a city with eternal foundations, a city designed and built by God. Remember, I said the other time, that begin to envision, begin to see. Now, this moment, I want you to begin to have pictures, see, to look beyond a business that is barely enough to feed your family. You are not creating a family business. You are creating a global business. You are not building a family career. You are building a global career such that from other countries, people are, are headhunting you. People are asking for you from other countries. This is what this is all about. That is what we are talking about. This is what this is all about. Glory to Jesus. So this morning, I wanted to pray, Lord, I receive divinely inspired pictures of the future you have designed and prepared for me. I receive divinely inspired pictures. As you're praying, saying this prayer, if you are in a place, if you are not driving, I want you to just close your eyes a bit and just allow pictures to flow. I am allow pictures to flow. Imagine, just imagine yourself talking with a sitting with, with presidents of nations. Imagine yourself sitting with CEOs and founders of corporations, mega corporations. Imagine yourself presenting before um, uh, um, a body of, of, of professors, you preventing and uh, presenting your, your, your patents, you presenting your, um, 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 your discoveries, you know, to to a company of of, of professors. Just, just just imagine. Just allow that pictures to flow. Allow that pictures to flow. Imagine yourself. You know, talking to thousands of, of young people. Just imagine yourself. Allow that picture to flow. Imagine yourself having hundreds and thousands of employees as your business becomes a conglomerate. Just begin to picture it this morning. Begin to picture it this morning. See, you are too small to be the purpose of your life. That's one of the things my mentor will say. 
So it is not you are not thinking if you have been thinking of what to get your next meal, you your picture is too small. <laughs> your picture is too small. So begin to imagine yourself having hundreds of other people working for you, doing the same thing you're doing right now. That is how we multiply wealth, other people's time, OPT, other people's time. So imagine that you have hundreds of people working for you. Imagine that you have a system that can absorb hundreds of people. Oh, God is giving you a city. Don't ask for just a flat. Don't ask for just an apartment. A semi-detached building, detached building, they are okay, they are fine, but God is giving you a city, not just a detached building, not just a semi-detached building. God is giving you a city. Glory to God. Glory to God. Did somebody picture anything this morning? Now begin to declare. I declare I am not just building a career or business. I am building a city. I am building a city, a city large enough to house thousands, thousands of people, a, a platform large enough to accommodate millions of people, a platform large enough, large enough, large enough, large enough. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, someone declare, I am a city on a hill. I cannot be eating. My career cannot be eating. My business cannot be eating. My name cannot be eating. Glory to God. I am a city on a hill. I cannot be eating. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am a city upon a hill. I cannot be eating. I cannot be eating. Glory to God. I cannot be eating. I am a city on a hill. Oh, someone declare it by faith this morning. I am a city. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am a city with eternal foundations. My impact endures for generations. I am a city with eternal foundations. My impact endures for generations. Hallelujah. I am a city with eternal foundations. My impact endures for generations. I am a city with eternal foundations. My impact endures for generations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is my architect and builder. I am the epitome of perfection. Someone decree this morning by faith, God is my architect and builder. I am the epitome of perfection. I am the epitome of perfection. I am the epitome of perfection. In the name of Jesus, I am the epitome of perfection. God is my builder. God is my architect. God is my builder. God is my architect. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am the epitome of perfection. Perfection. I am a city. My business is city. My career is city. In the name of Jesus. Oh, a city with eternal foundations, enduring for generations. Oh, thank you, Father. My impact endures for generations. 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 My in the name of Jesus, oh, Father, we give you thanks this morning. We give you praise, Father. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. We're moving on. We're moving on. Now, look at this, verse 11, Hebrews 11, 11. He said, it's of our faith that even Sarah was able to have a child. Though she was barren and was too old, she believed that God would keep his promise. <laughs> promise kept. Oh, glory to Jesus. She believed that God would keep his promise. So we have declared that we are a city. Now we are declaring we are fruitful. We are fruitful. Glory to God. We are fruitful. So someone, I, I wanted to, to begin to think beyond the economy of the nation where you are right now. God 
is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond inflation. <laughs> Somebody hear that? God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above and beyond inflation. So it doesn't matter the rate of inflation in the economy you live, God will give you fruits that will surpass inflation. Glory to Jesus. So this morning, I want somebody to pray. I am fruitful. Ha! Biologically, if that is your own desire, declare this morning. Intellectually, ha! there are so many brain children that you need to best. Products, services, processes that you need to best, that you need to best. <laughs> so many, so many, so many. The world is waiting for your manifestation intellectually. So many brain children that are waiting for, uh, um, for conception and delivery. So this morning, for someone, your own is financial fruitfulness. You are working, you are working really hard but you are not seeing the fruit financially. So you are going to be declaring it. For someone, your own is relationship. You need relationship fruitfulness. You need to meet the right people. You need to be in the right place. For someone, your emotions are, 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 are barren. You just don't have the right frame of mind to be able to sustain anything for too long. Therefore, you give up easily. So this morning, you are declaring my emotions are fruitful. For someone is spiritual fruitfulness, you need to grow in love. You need to grow in peace. You need to grow in joy. You need to grow in, in patience. You need to grow in, in, in goodness, in kindness. Can you begin to declare this morning? I declare I am fruitful. I am fruitful. You know the area of fruitfulness you, you need right now. For someone, the reason you are having issues in your career is because you lack spiritual fruitfulness and because you don't love people you are not a joyful person people find it difficult to relate with you can you ask the holy spirit to help you that's why some people are barren emotionally once you don't have spiritual fruitfulness it affects every other thing every other thing you are not easy to flow with you are not you are not an easy person to relate with so people just leave you in your corner they just leave you to do your thing can you pray this moment god i receive your touch god i receive your grace god i receive your grace god i receive your grace in the name of jesus father i receive your power lord i receive your power lord oh i am fruitful i am fruitful i am fruitful if you're trusting god for fruit of the womb put your hand on your on, on your tummy even if you are you are the man or the woman just put your hand on your tummy and declare i am fruitful if you are with your your spouse, you can put your hand on, on, on a tummy and declare, you are fruitful. You are fruitful in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. They said this low spam count. All you need is just one spam. One spam. One spam. So I declare, I declare breath to that spam count. In the name of Jesus, I declare the breath of the Almighty upon your brain. Receive capacity to conceive ideas and to nurture those ideas to fruition. Receive capacity. The Bible says, will I, the Lord, bring, bring conception and not also bring delivery? He said, as soon as Zion travails, she brought forth a young. I decree your mind is fruitful. Your mind is fruitful. Receive capacity to bet products, receive capacity to bet ideas, receive capacity to bet processes, receive capacity to identify gaps in supply chain, gaps in supply chain, and the courage to fill that gap, receive the courage, receive the courage to fill that gap in the name of Jesus Receive the courage to fill that gap. Receive the courage to fill that gap. Receive the courage to fill that gap. In the name of Jesus. Receive the courage to fill that gap. Receive the courage to fill that gap. Receive the courage to fill that gap. In the name of Jesus. Receive the courage to fill that gap. 
You've noticed that God will open your eyes to see gaps in supply chains. Eh? In supply chains. For someone, you are going to be creating platforms. Your own is to create platforms. Receive grace to create platforms. Platforms, platforms, platforms. Platforms where other people will aggregate. You and you are solving problems for them on your platform. Receive the capacity now to build that platform, to build that product, to build that service in the name of Jesus us to build that service, software as a service, SAS, receive capacity to build that platform now, 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 in the name of Jesus, I decree over someone, go above and beyond volatility, above uncertainty, above complexity, above ambiguity in the global economy, it has nothing on you, hallelujah, the, the volatility and uncertainty and complexity and ambiguity in our world has nothing on you. Has nothing on you. Sarai was Sarai's womb was dead. She it was as good as dead. She was too old to conceive what God was saying, yet she was still able to birth it to fruition. Oh, glory to Jesus. She was able to birth it. She was able to birth. She was able to birth despite the deadness. So you may think your economy is dead. Receive grace to rise above inflation. Receive grace to rise above inflation. In the name of Jesus, I de someone declare this morning, I will thrive because I am certain that God will keep his promise. Now, somebody say that to yourself. I will thrive because I am certain that God will keep his promise. The Bible says she believed that God would keep his promise. I will thrive because I am certain that God will keep his promise. I will thrive because I am certain that God will keep his promise. I will thrive because I am certain. That God will keep his promise. I will thrive because I am certain that God would keep his promise. Oh, glory to God. So let's wrap it up. Hebrews 11, verse 12. The Bible says, And so a whole nation came from this one man who was as good as dead. A nation with so many people that, like the stars in the sky and the sand on the seashore, there is no way to count them. Let's give it another five years, another 10 years. Your impact will be so great that it will be immeasurable. Sometimes we try to measure people's greatness by uh, saying, oh, what is, what is their worth? Uh, they are worth so, so billions, so, so billions. For somebody that is impacting lives with their product and services, you can't quantify the, um, um, how wealthy they are, how wealthy they are, because you can't imagine, okay, let's take, for example, let's take Facebook, for example. So you want to say, oh, the worth of Mark Zuckerberg is so, so billions. But do you know how many other billionaires that he has produced by Facebook just by giving Facebook as a platform? Do you know how many people have made billions from Facebook? Or how do you quantify um, um, YouTube? How many people have made billions from YouTube? So you can't quantify people's impact by just uh, saying, oh, you look at their assets and you say, oh, this is what this person is worth. No. To know their worth, you also have to, to calculate the impact, their impact on every other person that, that uses their product or their service. So this morning we are declaring, nations will come out of me. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, remember we say we, we prayed for a city now. We are declaring nations will come out of me. Nations will come out of me in the name of Jesus. My impact will touch millions of people across several continents. In the name of Jesus, someone declare my family, my business, my ministry, my talent, my products, my services are making waves globally. I am making global waves, global waves. Today, I arise out of the hashes of limitations and setbacks. The person we are praying about, Abraham, he was as good as dead. So he also had his limitations and setbacks. Someone declared this morning, I arise out of the ashes of limitations and setbacks. I arise 
out of the ashes of limitations and setbacks. I take my place in destiny as a progenitor of a new generation of global history makers. I take my place as a progenitor of a new generation of global history makers. Someone declared this morning, I arise, hallelujah. I arise, I arise, I arise. Put it in the chat room as we close this morning. I arise, I arise. Remember Isaiah 60, arise and shine for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is revealed upon you. Glory to Jesus. I arise and shine. I arise and shine. I arise and shine. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Declared by faith this morning as we call it a wrap. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. What a day, what a day. I'm super, super excited because I know God's word is coming to pass in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. So let's take our closing prayer together. You know how we do it. This is your opportunity to unmute. Glory to God. So let's take it together. Something massive is coming my way today. Something massive is I coming my way today. I believe it. And it has become my reality. It has become my reality. Hallelujah to Jesus. Good morning, family. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, success. How are you doing? Good morning, success. Mr. Solomon. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Tim Courtesy, Tim Samuel. Good morning. Good morning, Tim Samuel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister V. It's a blessed morning, hallelujah to Jesus, glory to God. So we're going to take a 